If you want to know how to make the basics of a horror game on Roblox with like jump scares, key open doors to get as fast as possible out of your horror house, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic uh, horror game. Uh, it's quite requested, I believe. We're just gonna make something like uh, you, you get a key, you wanna open a door, and then maybe some some random lights are gonna flicker, and then some random dude pops up in your screen, maybe. J just the casual stuff, and it's pretty decent and very cool. Uh, first of all, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe for epic Pogger gaming content. Cause yes. If you want to become a member, make sure to click the blue join button down below, and uh, we can start off corner. Anyways, what we're gonna be doing, you want to get a part, and I'll make it like this. A bit, a bit big, but also not that big. This is going to be an invisible part. I'm gonna do it like 0 0.8 for the tutorial, so you can actually see what happens. You want to add in a script, and what we can do. Two is get a, I don't know, monster maybe. Let's see, what is this scary one? Uh, this one maybe. Eh, little two. Maybe just this one. Pretty scary. Not at all, but actually, you, you get the point. So, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna copy this part. What I'm gonna do is make it like a bit like this. And then zero. And then the other one over here. And this dude is going to pop up from the side like this. So you get scared. Now you want to just name this NPC. You want to drop him into server storage. And over here, we're going to type a script that parent that touched. Colon connect function hit. If hit dot parent. Colon find first child humanoid. Then local PLR is equal to uh, game no players calling get player from character hit parent and now we can do for something very very cool is at the top we're gonna put local debounce is equal to true if debounce is equal to true then debounce is equal to false and we're not gonna enable it back because um, why why would you get double jump scared. And now we can do game dot server storage dot mpc. Uh, we can clone it. The parent is going to be game workspace, and then after two seconds, game dot workspace dot mpc colon destroy, like that. And that's basically like a simple horror thingy. If we test that out real quickly, you're gonna play here. Now, if we would step in this part, you're gonna notice it's gonna appear. Oh my! Oh, oh, oh! Wait, wait, wait! It's a scripted one. Oh, I did not notice. I was like, "What?" But it's a scripted one. I'm just gonna like remove every script. Okay, should be good. I was like, "What?" Yeah, that's like the risk of using free models. You get like, I was like, "Why do you shoot me?" But now, if we would go in this part, it's gonna appear from the corner, and then he disappears. And you cannot do it again, because that is exactly what's cool. What you could do, if you're really desperate, you can just bring him over here and just make him pop up right in front of you, which is also pretty scary. So if you play here, of course, you can make it full of jump scares. So if you would go in a part, and then, whoa! And if you would add some cool sound, then it would be very, very scary. So if you add in a sound, you can um, put your own custom ID. And over here, you can do script.parent.sound, call and play. And then over here, script.parent.sound, call and stop. So the music stops because, yeah, you, you don't want to like get it a delay because that would suck very much. Anyways, uh, what we can do now is since we have this now, over here, you can make some kind of a door or something. 
I'm just gonna make another one of these doors. I'm just gonna put it over here. I'm gonna remove this, uh, this thingy. And now, what you want is like a, maybe a key giver. I'm just gonna make a part. I'm gonna add an A script. Cause yes, I'm gonna add in a, um, we can do a proximity prompt actually. Yep, and then script.parent.proximity prompt uh, dot triggered colon connect function player and then local uh, local key is 62 game dot server storage dot key key colon clone dot parent is 62 player colon wait for child backpack like that and that means if you would make a key which I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna make a tool tool i'm gonna name it key i'm gonna add in a part and i'm gonna name it handle now i'm just gonna put can collide false massless on so now that's like your little key giver and over here we can do um let's see over here we should do if hit dot if hit dot name maybe it's equals equals to key then script dot parent dot uh yeah dot can collide is equals to false so you can go through it uh forever so for this one let's see this is going to be the jump scare part this is going to be the key giver and this is going to be the key door and i'm just gonna put a can collide on so like you can see it what you could do is like 0 0.2 and then script.parent.transparency is equal to 1 which means uh, it's just gonna like uh, it's like gonna like open like it, it would seem to be opened so now if we go over here you're gonna get that jump scare you're like Wah! yeah hello anyways I believe if we press E yep we're gonna get a key well you can spam it though I'll we're gonna prevent that in a minute and then if, over here if this the key touch we're not, um, let's see, maybe hit dot parent, probably, and for this one, we're gonna do, if player, colon, wait for child backpack, colon, find first child key, so if you already have a key, then we're gonna do nothing, and else we're gonna clone it into you. So you'll notice now if we're, I'm just gonna skip the jump scare part real quickly. So you'll notice if we press E, we're gonna get a key. But if we press it multiple times, we are not getting one because we already have one. And I believe if we did have our parent, yep, we can walk through the part. And then if I would test it without a key, which I'm gonna do right now, you'll notice that we cannot. Let me see where am I okay there you can see I cannot pass through and now if we get that key bloop you can do this and then this is like your key objective and you can just drop the key I guess that's why we can need a key which is useless so, yeah you can you can just drop that you can just drop it already anyways so that's like a little basic thingy we could try and make it to move, but that's going to be a little bit harder. Because you need to use like a 60 line code thingy. Yeah, it's going to take way too long. So over here you have a key giver for like the next room. And what you could do now is if you want another jump scare, uh, which I'm going to make right now very, very quickly. Over here, you could do like this, and then this, and I'm not a professional builder, so like that. You can just copy this door, you can paste it over here. This is going to be another jump scare part, I'm just going to jump scare part 2. And over here, we're going to do NC NPC2 and NPC2. You can just exit the script already. And what you can do now... Let's get that M NPC again. Oops, sorry. You want to name it NPC2 so the script knows. 
And then over here, you could make him, like, very big. And then, like, in the ground. And then you could hide him again in server storage. So if we would, like, speed run it now. These are just the basics of a horror game. If I would make an actual horror game, I'd be taking ages. So, wow, no! Yeah, it's gonna appear. Gonna get a key for the objective. You can hide it anywhere where you want. We can go through here. And now if we go through here, we're gonna... Whoa! And then, boom. And he's gone, and we cannot activate it again. Now, if you were to actually make everything invisible... It's gonna be our final test. Because you would not notice uh, any invisible parts. Only hackers, probably, but that's why you want to make an anti-cheat. So now, if you would randomly pass over here, you're like, no, very scary. If you get a key, you can pass through. And then over here, he's going to appear again. Oh, yes. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe for Epic Poker Gaming Content. I am currently making a contract system like Jailbreak. Um, so, but it's gonna, like, give you a new one once you completed it, so you can grind, like, I don't know, level 5 million. Anyways, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. My name is Newbie, and I say peace out. <laughs>